Hi, and welcome along to the All Guns Blazing podcast with my man DT here in person at the Box Park in Wembley. We thought we'd come back because uh, we were here the other day and it was such a, such a great place. feeling when we were here the other day mm. to win the FA Cup final. We thought, yeah, going to do like a video where we're going to re- take a little review of the season and take a look ahead. And we thought, why not come back to the scene of one of the happy days? of last season because it yeah. weren't always like that was it no it wasn't always like that and um we can promise the viewers that we'll um upload the full show today as well <laughs> <laughs> dig, sorry dig, dig. sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but, um just before we get into um today's show of course the guys from 888 sport um have got another one of their excellent videos for us city liverpool man united and a surprise package from Arsenal. It's just oh. come out of the blue. <laughs> Nobody's expecting it. And you know what I mean? It's Literally just going to no be, one. It's gonna be a complete no surprise. One like, it? Right, it is going to be a big season next year and I cannot wait for it. And three out of four of us believe our teams are going to challenge for the league. So, top four next season. Arsenal? You're convinced. Can Arsenal get in there? Did you mean it when you said it? When you bang that table and you win. <laughs> and the surprise <laughs> packages. Do you know what though, right? It all depends on what we do in the transfer market. Yeah, it does. You yeah. know what I mean? If, yeah. if, if we have a good window, because mm-hmm. you know what? Every year there's sort of a team that, you know, at the start of it, people say, I don't think they'll get in the top four, but then they come mm-hmm. flying through. So yeah. and that, team, that team last season was Chelsea. Everybody... Well, so a lot of people when they're predicting it, it was like, oh, they can't buy no players. Mm. They, you know, and they got into the top four. So, yeah, I, I wouldn't write Arsenal off for that. Yeah. And it is, but it's all on what we do mm. in yeah. the window. It is what we do, and you know, I think Mikel Arteta has proven over the last few months, 28 games he's been here, that he can beat the best teams. Yeah, um, we which do is something still... that we've just never exactly over the past um, few. Di- past few years we've just not done that consistently no, no and you know at the end of the day we've still got underlying problems that need rectifying but we trust the process and what he's doing and mm. you know none of us know what rumor is true and stuff like that but mm. if some of the rumors are true in terms of personnel then yeah we can easily challenge for mm. top four and at the end of the day people need to understand one thing we're not building a squad right now to challenge for the title because it's not no. going to be ready to no, challenge for a title off. within a year. Far off so that. the next three years, it goes in a process. So for the next three years, the aim is to build a squad that's competitive first and foremost, and then able to get back into the Champions League. Mm. Then when you get back in the Champions League, you, you can then start to attract the bigger players. You mm. can have you know, more money. And then you can then start to push for league titles and stuff yeah. like that. So. Just remember that when we're looking at certain players and things like that. So, mm. Well, the link is in the description. Get on there. Tell them I want you to give you their order of what you think is going to be the top four. Be real with it. Um, not just because we're, well, put Arsenal in there. <laughs> right. But be real with it. Jump into the link is in the description for that 888 Sport video. Um, we're taking a look back at the season. Right. And I'm going right back. Right. And, I, and I'm going to, I've sort of got like on my phone, I've got like, I've gone through it all. Mm. So we're going to go for it month by month, oh. right? Month by month, because you know what? When you look at it, right, we all know how it ended up. Yeah. But yo, when I was going through it, I was like, wow, what a season. <laughs> yeah. What mm. a season it was. I mean, it all started, I don't know if you remember, going way back, and we were saying earlier, even before we started doing um, the show today, um, Troops is around as well, and we were all talking about it and saying, ah, oh, the one thing we missed is the fact that we'd be going pre-season. pre-season. I yeah. remember last year to America, that was brilliant. And then we went to Spain and stuff like that, France. Mm. None of that this season. But do you I remember, know. do you remember there was one player who refused to go on pre-season? This is what I'm saying. There's so much went on, right, that you'll probably forget a lot of things. But there was a player who refused to go on the pre-season last year. This is when all our trouble started. You forget him? Yeah, I do. Our captain. He was our captain. Oh, what? Granite? No. What? what? Wait, hold on a minute. My Who was the captain of Arsenal? My mind's gone completely blank. Centre back. Blank. 
I said, oh, Koscielny. Koscielny. Oh, my. Was it only a year ago he left? That was a year ago, oh man. Oh, my God. He refused. Remember how it all started is we were going on a pre-season. Wow. And he said, I'm not going. I want to go. I want to leave this club. I'm not going on pre-season. Do you pre-season. know what? Honestly. Our captain. That's how, that is how things began. Robbie, honest to God, I thought he'd been gone about two years. No. So much has happened in a year. And because we've had a that four, is why, four or five month gap, I just... That's what? why I'm telling really? you, man. Really? A year why I, ago? That's why I said he's... That's why I said I'm going month by month. I'm showing because you, Because yeah? didn't... If I remember rightly, when we played the pre-season tour, um, one of the matches, the one we played in France... Yeah. Did he not leave just before that? Yeah, he went to Bordeaux or, and then he... Because I he, drove done that there, video. Do you remember I drove yeah, there? Yeah, yeah. Do you remember he done that video <laughs> where he took the shirt off... Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. He took his Arsenal shirt off to reveal a Bordeaux shirt. Yeah. That was the captain of Arsenal. That is where... The turmoil wow. and the rot set in right there immediately that the captain of the club was like, I ain't going on no tour and I want out. Wow. That's how we started it. Yes. That's our pre-season. That's how it there began. There you go. So when you look at it so like set, that, that, it set, set the, the president. Pattern. Yeah, it set the pattern. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, wow. Also, uh, we, of course, we made some sales. Iwobi left, joined Everton for 28 million. We absolutely Carl, ripped their hand off. <laughs> Carl Jenkinson left. Finally, to, to you sure Forest. he ain't on loan and he's coming back at some point? <laughs> Eddie went out on loan, yeah, right to Leeds. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we signed Martinelli, yeah. Um, we signed David Luiz from yep. Chelsea for eight million. Mm-hmm. Good or bad signing? Are we going to be going into a rating of the players and we'll, stuff? We'll, we'll come back with we'll, that later. We'll get into we'll come it. back to later. Kieran Tierney, we signed from Celtic. I announced it before million. everybody. You did, your video came out before it was supposed to come a out. A before anybody. <laughs> you tried to be a smart ass by recording it way in advance. Welcome to Arsenal, Kieran Tierney. <laughs> <You> forgot, <laughs> forgot, to schedule, forgot to schedule it and it came out long before it was... Even a month <laughs> before and I was sitting there drinking a can of Iron Brew. <laughs> <laughs> that absolutely sent Celtic Twitter into meltdown. <laughs> Danny Ceballos um, came on loan. Yeah. William Saliba we bought for £27 million but promptly loaned him back to St Etienne yep. and then the big one we signed Pepe for mm. 72 million pounds they had told us to be excited remember when we was over in America Josh Kroenke Stan Kroenke's son came out and said be excited <laughs> right and to be fair to be fair with those signings we were. fans were excited fans were like hey yep. you know what that's a good window yeah no I was excited I was. Um, you know, I mean, I mean, a lot of people say, oh, our team's just not good enough. We're not, we're. But actually, when you looked at that summer, you looked at wh- who, we, who went mm. and who bought, we bought in. Yeah. A lot of people looked on it and said, it was all right. That's not bad. Yeah, you know, no, maybe no, this no. season top four. Listen, I think all of us would have liked a top, top, top draw centre back. Yeah. But apart from that, especially with Pepe coming in, nobody could moan. Everybody and the thing is about excited. it, remember, I think Troops was one of the few people um, at the time who was saying, nah, David Luiz, I don't want this guy, blah, blah, blah. But a lot of other people were saying, well, we understand it because Saliba's gone out yep. on loan. He's going to come back. It'll be a good stopgap. Whether you thought he was or not, um, that's open to question. I'd love to hear from you guys in yeah. the comments. Yeah. July of last year, mm-hmm. Mesut Ozil and Kalasinac got robbed. Remember that? Yeah, I remember that. That was July. That, again, that happened sort of just before the start of the season again. Mm. Another sort of real setback to things, because if you remember rightly, when the season started, Ozil in particular didn't, couldn't play because there were still mm. things going on yeah. behind the scenes. Because not only did he get robbed, I think there was also another incident where people came to his house and were threatening yeah, him and yeah, stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. So again... Yeah. It's like I said to you, that was the highlight of Kalazanak's season. <laughs> Saving Mr. <Mizzet> Ozil. <laughs> Sorry. I can't. Another think. thing, just before the start of the season, we always win the Emirates Cup. We didn't this time. We lost. Lost the Emirates Cup to Leon. Remember we were there for that? Ah, oh, Lacazette got injured in the first yep. five, ten minutes or something. Yep. There's another thing that affected us at the start of the season. Yep. He was our player of the year, remember, going into this season. August, we start our first game of the season, Newcastle away. Absolutely tipping down with rain. Tough game, yep. but we won it. Yep. Who scored? Oba. Aubameyang. Yep. <laughs> Ainsley Maitland-Niles be... slipped a uh, ball into him. Oba, first touch, lifted it over the keeper, went in. 
Um, and what I remember about that from what I can remember is being at the very back at Newcastle, being out of breath after walking up <laughs> 1,000 flights of stairs. And then, um, yeah, it was just torrential rain. It was awful. But we got the win. Mm. Followed up with a win against Burnley. Then we go away to Liverpool. Yeah. Tough game. And uh, it was a tough day. It, do you know what? It was. 3-1 defeat. But for the first 35 to 40 minutes, I thought we gave a good account of ourselves. We should have been at least one goal up. Yep. Um, over Mr. Chance, where he lobbed it over just wide of the post. Pepe, when he went through. Um, mm. And yeah, it was one of those where you kind of ruin a few missed chances. And then mm. we ended up um, paying the ultimate price and Liverpool scored just before half time. And then David Luiz, David Luiz, one of his first mistakes. Sent off. Was he sent? No, no he, he wasn't no, sent no, off. He, he, gave off. Away he gave away penalty. Sorry, penalty. Full back Salah. <laughs> which was going to be turn out to be something he'd regularly do yep. throughout the season, give away penalties. Yep. Um, but yeah, we got pretty, we got turned over. Yeah. 3-1. Uh -huh. um, Nacho Monreal, they moved after that, um, soon after that to Real Sociedad. Mm -hmm. um, and then, uh, yeah, then we get into September, the North London derby, 2-2. Not a great performance by Arsenal. I mean, remember, it was, it was definitely a game of two halves. Yeah. Um, but again, Lacazette and Aubameyang, the guys with the goals. Mm -hmm. um, we loaned out El Nenny to Besiktas. Mm -hmm. Mikatarian went to Roma. Um, all of that before transfer deadline day. Jesus. Um, it's crazy when you look back on it. Europa League, we played on Eintracht Frankfurt and there was a player that emerged in that game. Saka. Saka. Yeah. Um, great you know, trip. Debut performance it was for him. Yeah. That was a great trip. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the, uh, I know it wasn't October, but it was the October Fest. We went to the October Fest and yeah. we got absolutely stabbed. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great hit. Hey, listen, we look good in them clothes, man. What they made us wear yeah, and everything, yeah, yeah. man. That was, that was a great trip. <laughs> it was. It was brilliant. Um, but yeah, um, goal and assist in that game for Saka. And it, that was the first where we looked at this guy and we said, hey, We've I've got a player in. Yeah, and I'll tell He's you done something. done well in pre-season. There was another performance in that game that stood out in my memory. Was it was Martinelli? Martinez. Oh, thanks, drinks. Oh, look, Cheers. drinks break. What is this? Like a drinks break? Like Mikel Arteta drinks break? <laughs> <laughs> Mikel's that look. Like, hold on a minute, we're just having a drinks break, lads. You're not doing it right, right? It's a, every time we have a drinks break, everything seems to get better after. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't it? But, but yeah, um, that was a, yeah, that was a good trip and that was a good win. Mm. Um, then uh, going into, uh, you know, yeah, it was played in the EFL Cup, beat Forest and stuff like that, but that was pretty standard. We'd was that 5-0 was that? Huh? Was that 5-0 was it? Was it was 5-0. Yeah. It was 5-0. Good, yeah. good, good test on your memory here. Yeah. Um, then now we get into October. This is where it went. Hell now, shape. I already know. Una Emery, this is when things start to go downhill. Now, Did I don't it? know if you remember this. We played Palace. Yep. 2-0 up. Yep. Doing all right. Concede two goals, draw the game 2-2. Remember that game? Yep. Poor. Very what poor. else happened in that game? We had a goal disallowed right in the injury time. And apparently Car Callum Chambers had fouled someone when he didn't. What else happened in that game? Granite Xhaka. Granite Xhaka meltdown. That was all the way back in October. Wow. Granite Xhaka meltdown comes off and the pitch. And we're nearly in October now. This is why it's so difficult to remember certain parts because there's Tore been like shirt. a year's difference between mm. everything instead of the usual yeah. seven months or so. It's Told like, the crowd to F off, all that sort of stuff. <laughs> a lot of people said, that's it. He's never, ever going to play for this club again. A lot no. of fans very angry after the game. I was fuming. I'll tell you why I was angry as well, because people like myself had supported him all the way through everything. Even when he had a bad performance, I kept telling everyone, I can see what he's got in him. I can see what he's got there. Stick by him. I know that he's got something within him. Mm. And some might say it was stubbornness because I had gone so far as to support mm, him. Was, you didn't yeah. want to admit that you were wrong. True. And shut up. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> but, you know, 
that loyalty is justified right now because he's been one of our standout performers in the latter part of the, yes, the yes. season. So would you would you have thought to yourself at that time? No, that he would. I already know what you're going to say. No, 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 no. You thought absolutely he'd be gone. no chance. I thought he was gone. And he, if it wasn't for Mikel Arteta coming in, he was gone in January. True. Let's make no questions about that. He was True. gone in there January. There was a lot of talk that he was going to move to um, what, what was it? Um, her for Berlin, wasn't it? Yeah, and even Mikel said that he managed to convince him to stay. Mm. He convinced him. So Mikel's got a habit of convincing people of what he mm. intends to do. And this was before he'd even proved anything. Mm. And, and, and remember, after that, he was stripped to the captaincy, wasn't he? Yep. Stripped to the captaincy and dropped. But he leads on the pitch Unai anyway. Am. He leads on no, the pitch anyway. No, but he's dropped, anyway. he's dropped from the team as oh, well. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, from when Mikel came mm. in. He leads on the pitch. After that, actually, in that month of October, very exciting game that we had. I don't know if you can remember that. I'm testing your memory out. <laughs> Even Troops has been in the background thinking about it. Very exciting. And I know he's got, a, he's, got, he's got this like crazy memory he has. Can you remember what I'm talking? Frankfurt. No? We already said Frankfurt. No, not Frankfurt. Frankfurt. A very that. entertaining oh, game. Oh, Liverpool away. Liverpool away. Oh, when they tried to let us win, but we still couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> that one. Yeah, that one. Oh, that one. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We lost 5-4 in penalties. Yeah, because they, they also tried to let Aston Villa win, and Villa did 5-0. Yeah. Yeah. But we were like, no, 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 we don't want to win either. You just score. We've got Joe Willock standout goal for me. Yeah. Although, in that game as well, there was that moment from Meza Ozil where it looked like he was going out and he stopped who? and the flick... I know, you're saying who now, but <laughs> there was that flick for Ainsley to score, wasn't it? Mm, but, yes, yes, yes. Um, yeah, that was one of the maddest right. games. And still to this day, people say that we lost to Liverpool's reserves, yet our average age of the starting lineup was younger than Liverpool's. So, mm. yeah, I'll just get that one in there. Well, but. we ended, as I said, drawing games and then we go into November and we're drawing games again. Um, drew two games back to back. The football was dire. Yeah. Everybody was moaning about Emery. A lot of people, I remember they, there was then like an international break, wasn't it? And we thought it would go in and the And we thought he'd go break. in that break. Yeah. But he even got longer after that. And it still didn't work out. And um, it was the defeat against Eintracht Frankfurt. Um, that led finally to... Who scored for Frankfurt? 29th of, 29th of November. Who that scored was. for Frankfurt? Who scored for Frankfurt? Yeah. I don't know. Because I see it all the time. Everyone keeps putting a picture of him up. Who scored for Frankfurt? And saying, uh, thank you for everything you've done for the club. <laughs> that goal got Emery sacked. <laughs> that goal did get him sacked. Who scored? Yeah. It's, um, oh no, I can't think of his name. Why are you asking me and you don't know? Because I knew as soon as you said it, I might remember. <laughs> He's moved to, isn't it the one that moved to Liverpool? What's his name? The... William? Mina, Mina. Minamino? Yeah. Ah, oh, Minamino no, was... he was at Leipzig. Was Minamino he? Minamino was playing for... No, um, with, um, Salzburg. Yeah, he was yeah Harland. Who's Minamino? the one that's got... There's a picture. They look so alike. I'm going to get in so much trouble now. In the comments, let us know. Otherwise, we'll be here all day. In the comments, let us know who that player was. Who, but wait. That was the game that cost us. That's going to bug me. Right, and then... Freddie Jungberg takes over. You do. You keep doing that. I'm Freddie Jungberg takes over. He becomes the interim um, team coach. We go into December. Um, first game as coach. What was the score Kamada. against no, against Norwich? Kamada. One one. Kamada. Is that the name? Dashi Kamada. Dashi Kamada. Dashi Kamada. I don't know. We're gonna call him Dashi Legendary Kamada. <laughs> <laughs> he saved my club. That did lead to the. I mean, Emery. The Emery period. Just going back to that. The Emery period was dire, weren't it? I mean. The, the football was, was awful, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. I, re I honestly thought that he'd come from Frankfurt, the Liverpool guy. We ain't seen that much of him. He ain't been around. Mm. But Yeah, it was dire. And as I said, Jungberg took over. First game for Jungberg was away at Norwich, Carrow Roads. Over Mr. Penalty and then retake. retake scored it. But remember, I that know was, it was 2-2, man. It was 2-2, man. Yeah, and that was a, about 1-1. One, one. That I was a very... He scored both, didn't he? That wasn't a great performance. No, it wasn't. It wasn't a great performance. But everyone um, was allowing Freddie because he's a legend. Yeah, they it's... were allowing Freddie and that, but it didn't work out with Freddie. One win in five games for yeah, Freddie. Yeah, there was no bounce. Yeah, no bounce whatsoever. Like the ball was I remember, flat. if you look at it, Everton, they brought in Duncan Ferguson and it was a big bounce, wasn't it? It was like, you know, all of a sudden, certain players were playing really well. But when Freddie came in, 
There was no bounce at all. And as I said, one win in five games, and uh, you know, eventually the board decided that, yo, listen, we're gonna we're gonna have to act here. And um, 20th of December it was when they appointed Mikel Arteta. If you remember, we got beaten by Man City, mm -hmm. and then. Remember they showed those, uh, they turned up, you know, was it Raul and Vinay? Yeah, um, in, a, in a people carrier outside his house. Yeah, in a people yard, carrier in outside his house. It was like some mafia move, innit? They're outside his house about two in the morning, getting him to yeah. come and join Literally Arsenal. straight after we'd got absolutely peppered by Man City. Yeah. yeah. And they're really random as well, but they'd gone all the way back to Manchester. Mm. So it was like, yeah. you thought that, because they were at the Emirates, yeah. they would have just... It's almost like they chased him up the motorway. Yeah, you know, like, yeah. right, let's chased go him. catch him. <laughs> We've got to go catch him. Come on, boys, let's go. Because it was like, and I think Mikel's even told me, and I said that when he was sitting on the bench that night, it hurt him to like see what was happening to our club and the distance with the fans and how broken everything was. Because you've got to remember mm. at that time, it was broken within the fan base even more. You mm. know? And it was... Yeah, it was just kind of emphasised when we went to Everton away and mm. some people were more interested in singing songs about YouTube channels than cheering <laughs> the team up. Yeah, it's true though, I'm not going to paint over the, the situation at the end of the day. Um, that incident there alone just kind of just epitomises how poor the season was up to those points mm. because, you know, you imagine if we went into a stadium and we started singing about certain individuals instead of cheering on the team that we're there to cheer on. It was on. ridiculous, wasn't it? Do you know what I mean? It's, it's like, listen, man, you do your thing, we do our thing, man. And it's, mm. it what is was, what it is. What was Mikel Arteta's first game? What was the result in his first game? Um, Chelsea. Mm -mm. No. It? no, he weren't Everton. Mm -mm. No. He wasn't Everton, was he? Mm -mm. No. I thought I mean, you were knowledgeable about oh, that. Oh, shut it's up, It's only man. a year, you know. Uh, Mikel Arteta's first game. First game in charge, Boxing Day. Oh, was it Boxing Day? Away. Away, Boxing Day. You want another clue? Oh. He just got relegated. Just got relegated, yeah. Who the hell got Chelsea. relegated? Oh, Bournemouth. Yes. Bournemouth, yes. bloody <laughs> hell. Oh. Jesus. Mate. <laughs> what was the score? 1-1. One, one. Yep, 1-1. Yeah. One, one. Another, another draw, right? Aubameyang. <laughs> that, that's easy, though, isn't it? Anytime you ask who scores, just say Aubameyang. That's it. You, you know, nine times out of ten, it's Aubameyang. So that's why. You've got like a seventy percent chance of uh, getting it right, isn't it? If you say Aubameyang. Yeah. But remember, I don't know if you remember at the time, people started to saying draw FC, why Arteta, there's no bounce, blah blah blah. But Listen. we already, because remember when he came in, one of the first things a lot of fans liked is they liked what he said. He came in, he said, yo, anybody who ain't going to work hard enough ain't playing. Anybody who don't think this is a big club ain't playing. And he was pretty tough, innit? Yeah. And then there was videos that came out of him in training. He's telling man, yo, stop all these flicks and all that. And this yeah, yeah, yeah. That was like a right? He said that too. Yeah. But do, we first... have do we have drones? Do we have drones? <laughs> I remember that. Good, we're going to need them. <laughs> I remember that. I remember yeah. seeing it when he first came to the club. And I was like, yeah, but... It, you know what it is? When I watched that very first video of him, just the way he walks, like the way that he, mm. there's a command about him. You know, it's like you walk into a room and we're all like, oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> but like, <laughs> Arteta, <laughs> Arteta, we're like, yo, boss man's in here. Do you know what I mean? I even, like that, I like that. That's a good one. Even, good when, one. <laughs> even when you see at Wembley, yeah, you see the video of him walking into the changing room with a trophy. Yeah, that's a and good video. And it was just yeah. like, but it was his, the aura of the way he walks. It was yeah. just... I don't want to say it, but obviously it is don't very, it. no, but it is, <laughs> it's pep-like. And you could tell he's worked under him because that walk of like... It's even like Wenger in the early days. Yeah, and Wenger, Wenger in the early Wenger days. commanded, It's, it's like, know. I'm the, I'm the boss, yeah. right? Look, you know what I mean? It's like, this is me. And he just walks in, he bangs the lid, like it's nothing, like, and then he's got the trophy in one hand and he's just swaggering in. And then he's in the middle of the celebrations, just like, yeah, I love that. That's definitely not Wenger like. Because we ain't seen <laughs> no, Wenger no, in would be more a reserved, month. Yeah. Maybe right, behind so, the scenes he would have yeah. been. But. So he's off to a sort of okay start. A couple of draws. Yeah. People saying, yeah, a few little positives. The next game was our big test. Chelsea. No. When it? We, did we have you, Chelsea you, before Man United? Man United. Did we not have Chelsea oh, before no, Man United? No, 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 no. Well, I swear we had Chelsea before no, Man United. No, Man United on New Year's Day. You're wrong. He's wrong. 
Chelsea. We are Chelsea. Chelsea United. Oh! We oh! Chelsea and everyone was like, how are you going to beat United? I remember Flex and Rad tried to do me in the preview and I peppered them with Pepe. <laughs> All right, mate. Oh, no, yeah, oh, yeah. I didn't know. Wait, wait, wait. wait, 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 wait. wait. You're right. What you're right. 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 When, right. right. when, when I was writing this down oh, earlier right. on, I, 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 I accidentally. No, 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 Wait a minute, wait a minute. Here we no. go. Here we go. No, because I, I, I've got a, I, I've got I, mitigating circumstances. <laughs> yeah, you I've messed got, up. No, no, because if you remember rightly, we played Chelsea in quick succession. No, shut up about how. No, we did. I know we did, but that ain't the mitigating circumstances. That's the mitigating Yeah, because we played the... It was in a month. Exactly. Yes, I know. Exactly. But that doesn't mean that we play because we everyone. Play. No, because you know what? We know the away one because that was the one where we were down to ten men. We scored two goals down to yeah, ten yeah, men. Yeah, yeah. Well, listen. So we, don't try mixing it up with the four man. Hold United. on. We no, played them on the. Messed up. Just a bit. Yeah, I got it wrong. All right, thank you. Well, we played them on. We right, played so them on the 29th. Right. He's even got it up. We played Chelsea. Sure. Yeah, I'm checking it. But then we then played Chelsea again just a few weeks later. Yeah. Right, I know, 21st of January. But you're still wrong. Which is weird, isn't it? And you said you, I was wrong for saying right? Chelsea's before Man United. No, but you got about five things no, wrong. No, get out of you it, man. I mean? you got loads of things right, wrong. Right, so we go Chelsea. So. All right, so now I've lost the thing that I had. I've lost, <laughs> lost. <laughs> Mario's wrong anyway. <laughs> right, so anyway, played Chelsea, we lost to Chelsea. What happened in that game? We, All those Chelsea fans going on about the uh, final, the referee, mm-hmm. the this, the that. Do you remember that game? Jorginho should have been sent off for a second yellow card, pull on Grendozi. For 80 minutes, we dominated the game. Burn Leno made a mistake. And then Tammy Abrahams, who I stick by what I said at pre-season, is not a footballer. He's not good enough. He Just had a good season. Yeah, they had a good season. Get out yeah, of he it. had a decent if season. If Chelsea never had a transfer ban, Tammy Abrahams would be at Vitesse Arnhem. End of story. <laughs> he wouldn't be. Yes, he would. He'd be paying yes, for he a, would. He'd probably be paying for another temp- Premier League title. No, he wouldn't. He'd, he was at Villa. He, he, I don't he's... care where he was. He was at Villa in the championship. No, he's no. not. I, 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 I'm not sorry. No. But anyway, I don't care about Tammy Abrahams. Um, he's not my player, but I do think he had a decent season. But yeah, we played Man United next. We're very unlucky in that game against Chelsea. Manchester United next. You remember that one, though, yeah? I remember that one. <laughs> that was a sweet moment of the season. And it was another one where before going into that game, certain people that we know very well were running their mouth thinking Mm. that certain mans were at the wheel and everything else. And yeah, that car got absolutely dismantled. Yeah, 2-0, Pepe. Pepe, of all people, right in front of the Man United fans as well, Mm. scored. And then done his... uh, Yeah. You know what I mean? So... Followed that up uh, next game. That was superb. Tough game, you know, FA Cup game against uh, Leeds, beat them 1-0, that was a tough game. Tough game, Reese Nelson. Started the, started the FA Cup, yeah, Reese Nelson with a goal. Yep. Um, then we went to Chelsea again, and then that was the one, the, the 2-2, where we played again Chelsea fans. What was significant about that game? Louise got sent off. We played most of the game with 10 men. Yeah. Right? And I tell you what Not else crying was like them the other day, oh, we only had 10 men. We played most of the what game with 10 men. We didn't lose the game. That there was no difference to what David Luiz done, to what Aspel Aquetta done in the true. final and never got sent off. That, that, that's true as well. Uh, but it was 2 2 Martinelli with that breakaway goal that yep. um, everybody remembers. Breakout Hector. season. Breakout season for Martinelli. Hector Bellerin as well. Yep. Um, that was a big goal for him because I think that sort of really helped. He'd have very indifferent performances before then. A lot of people was a bit. When Ainsley got dropped out of the team, they were saying that's a mistake. Mm. But that goal was big for Bellerin. Um, mm. Then um, followed that up again, another FA Cup win against Bournemouth. Um, that was a decent performance. It was comfortable until yeah. Bournemouth scored in injury time. Mm. And then we had a hairy three, mm. four minutes where we were like, yeah. Transfer window brought in Pablo Mari on loan, as well as Cedric from uh, Southampton. Mm-hmm. Um, then we went into that two-week winter break, went over to Dubai, and then s- problems start to begin for one particular player. Gwendozi. Yeah. And he was then dropped from the squad for our game when we returned, which was Newcastle. Which we beat 4-0. Mm-hmm. Um, pretty easy win. But then, uh, the, big, the first sort of major setback for Mikel Arteta was that defeat against Olympiacos yeah. in the Europa League, that last-minute defeat when we yeah. thought we clawed it back. 
And after such a that good performance a... in Olympiacos. Yeah. You know, when fans yeah. were in the stadium as well. Hostile mm. place to go. Yeah. Brilliant result. And then, oh, the over miss, man. Mm. That still haunts me now when yeah, I think about right. it. When you I scored see that brilliant over a kick, didn't you? You know, then... now, now we're getting to this point where the Europa League's going to be going into this little mini tournament that mm. they're in, quarterfinal, one mm. games and stuff. I'm sitting there thinking, oh, mate, we'd have a genuine chance of winning yeah. that if we were in that format yeah. now. But... Well, going into March, we had only now one other trophy to play for, and that's the FA Cup. We, yep. we drew against Port... We had a... Um, we drew Portsmouth out of the hat, yep. went there, beat them 2-0. Um, yep. um, Torreira broke his foot. Yep. And then the big moment of this crazy season, uh, one day prior to Arsenal's trip to Manchester City, I was already, I remember I was already up in Manchester. Yeah, he was. Um, Doing previews and all sorts. Yeah, Olympiacos owner um, revealed that he contracted COVID-19. Yeah. Um, so they didn't play that game, remember? Mm -hmm. And then two days later, Arteta comes out and says that he has also tested positive for coronavirus. They were going to play games that weekend. Yeah, it was the day before Brighton. Yeah. And then the moment Arteta got tested positive, yeah. I remember sitting at home, I remember the news breaking, and I remember going, that's it, done. Premier League's finished. Mm. Whole season stopped. From, president, from April, right? Didn't restart until June. Unbelievable, Mad. unbelievable. I mean, there was a lot of talk that the season wouldn't even come back. That would be it. It's crazy, man. There'd when be you no think football. About but Do you know what I mean, it was like everything could just come to a standstill. The whole nation had just stopped as well. We were doing these via, you know, video links yep. and trying to just get through each mm. day. And it was, yeah. The whole country went into lockdown. It was tough, man. It was tough, especially tough. for us that have got kids as well that were at school and... No schools. Things like that. And yeah, man, it was, that was hard. I think my only saving grace in the whole period of lockdown for me was that I live in a house with a garden and stuff like that. Mm. So I could actually go and get outside with the kids and do things and, mm. you know, do things that I've been moaned at to finish for years, <laughs> you know, one of them. It was like, uh, listen, I turned into like Gardner. Bob the Builder. Bob the Builder, <laughs> you name it. It was like, that was, yeah. And then it got to a point where after about three months, I was like, please just give me football back, man. Well, yeah, please. listen, it was over, from, you know, just over three months, wasn't it? June, the 6th of June. Crazy. Um, no, 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 what am I talking about? Um, yeah, it wasn't June, we moved July. When yeah. When we come back, wasn't it? The 6th of June was when we played our first sort of friendly against Charlton and stuff like that, and Brentford. But it was, Premier League actually returned on June the 17th. 17th, yeah. And then we went so through to So from April, July. and I remember at first they were saying all football suspended to like April the 3rd or something like that, they said. Yeah. yeah. June. June. You know? It's crazy, the season. Man. It's crazy. I'm just even thinking about it now, I don't, mm. I get my months mixed up, mixed up at the moment. And yeah, yeah, times yeah. Because this might seem weird to some people, but I live my life in terms of football and the fixtures, right? In terms of, I know what I'm doing with my life based on football and stuff. So it's like everyone goes by a year. I go by nine months or so, a season, shall we say. I know what period we're not meant to be playing football so I can plan a holiday. Family can plan weddings and christenings because they know I'll be there. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And there's little things. And then, you know, the first thing I look at as well, are Arsenal going to play on anybody in my family's birthday? You know, is it going to be on the kid's birthday or my birthday or this, that, the other? Mm. So you go through your life based on fixtures and being like, oh, look, my birthday this year, we're going to be playing Tottenham like the day before. Or So now all of a sudden we're playing. My mind's telling me, sun's out, end of the season, it's like May. But yet, we're in August. Mm. And it don't feel weird. We're playing an FA Cup final at Wembley. The sun's out. OK, that's normal, because it's mm. like that in May. But really, we should be in another country on pre-season tour. And mm. it's just crazy, man. Absolutely. My head's just trying to get adapted Absolutely to it all. Absolutely crazy. Um, we did eventually come back. First game against Manchester City. The only game, well, they played two games on that day. But that was the, the game that everyone was, all eyes were on. 
We got battered. <laughs> David Luiz <laughs> sent off again. And again, <laughs> the same incident as Asper Laqueta. And ironically, the same referee. 3 0. We lost that game. And we've done so well for 30 odd minutes. Yeah. And then the second game against Brighton now, we figured, oh, we'll bounce back. Everybody's City, you know what? We know what City are like. We'll bounce back. No, DT, you're lying. DT, you're lying. <laughs> no, 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 no. DT, Yeah, when you lying. reveal the score, <laughs> right? It's, it's 1 1. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. Because we, we obviously we came back and we started doing our watch alongs instead. Obviously, we're not able to go outside the ground and do anything like that. So we're doing our watch alongs. And we all said, listen, keep your foot because there's a slight delay. And it was 1-1 and we were already pissed off about that. We're like, 1-1 at Brighton, what the hell's up with this team? That's the game where, I'm going to ask you about the other significant moment in that. But um, yeah, then you reveal the score. You, you get up and no, just storm off. No, do you know what off. it is? Oh, that's it. Oh, we no, I didn't even do guy? that. I didn't even do that. What happened was... Yeah, to me. What <laughs> what <laughs> Why is he going to lie? Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. What happened was, was that we had gone past, on the stream, we had gone past the allotted time. I knew the stream was about a minute and a half behind at that time. So I was like, well, it's a minute and a half over what the allotted time is. We've, it's done. So I just quickly looked at my phone on social media to just to see. And then all the saw was just like, <clears throat> like gold, bright, mopai, blah. And I'm like, oh no, I've had enough. And I got up and that was it, I've gone. And I walked past the telly and I just remember like standing there just like, I want to throw something. I want to just jump out the window or do something. And I remember him looking at me and he was just like looking at me like, what's the matter with him? And I was just like, it's, it's the score, didn't it? And he's like, DT, you're lying. No. 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 DT, no. you're lying. And then you see Robbie there like this in his chair. <laughs> <laughs> just like this look. He's just looking like, what are these and guys he, all about? You threw the cup. Yeah. <laughs> And then that was it. And then, and the best thing, he's walked off. He's walk, He's gone over by where the screen is. Like I can't see this. Then he's like, "No, I need to look. Wait, you look. Oh no, he ain't lying. He ain't. Oh no, because what we're doing, we're, we're watching an attack build up, weren't we? So it was like we're seeing him get closer towards the edge of the box. He's like, "Oh no, DT's not lying. Oh no, he's not lying. Is that? And then your face has gone from like this to like, <laughs> and then it scored. And then that's it." And at, that, was... at that stage, did you ever think to yourself, we could end off the season still winning a trophy? Mate. Because you're thinking to yourself, the first two games, but, and we, I remember we had a lot of momentum yeah. going into this. You know, yeah. we, we, we hadn't lost a game in up until the lockdown. Yeah. And I then, know, it, was, it was crazy, man. I just, I look at that and I just, you know, I don't think any of us after that Brighton defeat would have expected mm. to change things around the way that we did. Um, mm. It looked very much like a lot of the players were just... Two significant things came out of that game. Mm -hmm. Tell me what they were. The uh, Gwendozi situation. Yep. Uh, was the most Gwendozi, significant. that was like his last, probably his last ever game oh, for us. Oh, you're a cheat. Oh, Brad, get ready. <laughs> <laughs> when it was tight, yeah. I'm tearing into Mope, but there was also something else that happened in that game. Um... Was that? Your memory's gone, man. Oh, my memory has gone. Leno, Leno. Oh, Leno's injury. <laughs> Leno oh, got mate. injured yeah, and we were yeah, all thinking yeah, to yeah, ourselves, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. remember we was all like, oh my God. I know. Oh my God. Apart from Aubameyang, probably the best player, he's out. Yeah. Um, and and but Martin I did tell was you, there, was going to prove us all I, wrong. I did tell you pretty quickly that his injury weren't as bad as feared. Yeah, he was the but, first one to tell you. And but he still was going to be out for the whole yeah, of the yeah, season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was going to be out. You know, people were talking about Joe Hart coming in. Yeah. Mate, he can keep his wash and go shampoo <laughs> or whatever the hell it is he does, but no. But the guy who came in, Martinez, was going to be from then till the end of the season. Absolutely brilliant. Till now, people are saying to themselves, who's the number one? You know? Um, it's unreal, isn't it? Martinez was absolutely exceptional. David Luiz also got a one-year extension after that, which drove a lot of people mad as well, considering he'd been sent off um, in that game against City. Uh, we went into um, the game. Also, also, we signed Cedric. Announced we were going to sign and Cedric. And that caused and, meltdowns as well. Yep, yeah, and, and Pablo <laughs> <Barry>. <laughs> Um And we did a loan extension for Danny Sobias because obviously we had to loan him at extra time until the end of the season. Yeah. Um, we then went, had a tough... Remember, we've had two defeats now, back-to-back. -back. Yeah. 
Now we've got to go in the FA Cup away Sheffield United. to Sheffield United quarterfinals. Yeah. Nobody was... Uh, well, a lot of people were saying, yo, they, they're expecting us to go out in that as well. That's, yeah. that's a tough place it to go tough. to. We know there's no fans, but... It's still tough. Sheffield still United tough. are a good side. Um, but we got the win. We got the win. And what I liked about that, that was the first moment where I realised that this team's got resilience. Mm. Because, you know, Sheffield United equalised with three minutes to go. But yep. yet we go up the other end. So we're preparing for an extra 30 minutes. Mm. And then Sabayas. And I think that game and that moment was a turning point for Danny Sabayas as yeah. well. Because he was excellent after that. Excellent. July, we go into July. Saka signs the ting. Ends all the speculation. Martinelli the signs a new one. Right, yeah. Martinelli as well, they signed up. Um, yep. So that was great news on those two great young players who had fantastic seasons. We beat Norwich 4-0. Can I just it. say as well, they've made the announcements for the PFA player of the year things and that mm. I'm not expecting an Arsenal player to win it but to not even be in the nominations is an absolute joke right Saka's not in the young player right that's ridiculous M Martial's in the young player he's 24 that's ridiculous at what point do you say you're a young player it's got to be under 21 minimum yeah surely yeah do you know what I mean like don't get me wrong I think out of all the nominations the standout one's Trent Alexander-Arnold because mm. of what he's done and what he's achieved and everything mm. But if you're going to really... Well, he's in the young player. He's in the young player. See, that's but stupid. what I'm saying is, if, the, if you're really going to look... Young players at, should be under 21. Yeah, if you're going to really look at young players, then you would look at Greenwood, for example. Exceptional season at Manchester United. Saka, Martinelli. Mm. Young kids that have burst onto the scene and captured the imagination and done something. Mm. Not Anthony Martial. That's stupid. That's he's 24. Those awards are always Come ridiculous. Come on, man. That's and then ridiculous. you go to the main award... No Aubameyang. Right. No Aubameyang. No, and again, we're not expecting him to win it. No. But he should be in it. Exactly. Vardy's exceptional... in it. Mm. Danny Ings is in it. But why aren't Aubameyang in it? Y yes, Jordan Henderson's in it. Kevin De Bruyne. It's between those mm. two. For me, it's Kevin De Bruyne, mm. the best player. But Aubameyang should be in there. Of course he should be in there, man. That's ridiculous. Joke. Absolutely ridiculous. Um, beat Norwich 4-0. Then we had the North London derby. Next game. Um, <laughs> next game, we lost that 2 1, the Kalasanach mistake <clears> after <throat> we got. Remember, we were 1 0 up. Yeah. Um, then uh, we took on Liverpool straight after that. Yep. Real. You've missed out a few games as well. Wolves. I'm not doing every single game. Okay, but, but that was yeah, a, big, yeah, that was Wolves, a big game. Wolves was a big win a big away game. from home. The t shirt came out. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Wolves, yeah. Was a, Wolves was a big win. Wolves was a big win away from home 2 0. Mm -hmm. um, then Liverpool. Liverpool. Awful for the first 20 minutes, got pulled apart, saw why Liverpool were the best team in the country. Went 1 0 up, Liverpool. But then the resilience again, what yep. we showed in Sheffield United and everything else, and mm. that never say die attitude. One thing we've always moaned about Arsenal go 1 0 down, before you can blink, it's 3 0. Mm. Now we go 1 0 down, and we're kind of like, you saw it in the final. Mm. We're sitting there watching that game, and I think me and you were the only two. I mean, right? I know you, but you was uh, like on the other mm. side, so I couldn't, weren't talking to you directly. But what I'm saying is, all I can hear around me is everyone losing it mm. in the first five minutes when we went one nil down. And yeah, we were all over the place. Me and Robbie were sitting there like, you know what? We've done the same against Liverpool, man. Mm. Relax. Plus it's early in the and day. then when everyone's going, oh, do this and do that. <laughs> and I'm like, calm down, man. Everyone relax. Relax, all right? If it goes 2 nil, I'll throw a chair. But, yeah. you know, no, <laughs> so I'm not managing to damage your furniture or anything. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's like, but um, yeah, I think when they allowed us in here, they realised that there might be some damages depending on the say, result. I've got to say, yeah, and, and, um, yeah, the semi-final straight after that. Here we did it at the Box Park, actually. Um, it was brilliant. Manchester City, nobody gave us a prayer again, nobody. even though we beat in Liverpool. So I think because we beat in Liverpool, people were like, well, you know, maybe Arsenal, but it was it's City. They've already won the league. It's City. They're so getting they torn. Really they're going to get torn it. apart, yeah. right? Mate, Big win. Masterclass from Mikel Arteta. Brilliant. Manchester City had one shot on target in 90 minutes. One. This is a team that scored over 100 goals and predominantly smashed six, seven goals past teams. Five, six. How many games were they after lockdown winning by four, mm. five? They smashed teams. And then obviously they had the confidence of beating us that first time round. But what did I say mm. to you in the preview leading up to it? I said, forget that. I want to now see what Mikel Arteta can do against Guardiola with 11 players on the pitch and with some luck on his side. Because you remember that Man City game, we lost Granite in the first mm. minute. We lost Mary within the first 10 minutes. Yep. 
We then had the sending off penalty. Mm. Everything that could have gone against us that night went mm. against us. So let's have it on a level playing field. Let's see. And Arteta showed exactly what he's made of. Masterclass. The next game went a masterclass. We got beaten by Villa. But, yeah, it was kind of one of them games where we had no, you know, there's nothing to play for in the league. It was all on. Actually, no, before we got to that, we played Watford. Yeah. Beat Watford, relegated Watford, unfortunately, for your mate Troy Deeney. Um, you but have to get that in, isn't it? It was curtains for um, my mate as well. You know what I mean? So I did, mate. No, I felt, I felt, I, I did, you know what, right? Listen, any time Arsenal plays, I want to win the game. But I did, I must admit, after the game, I felt sorry for him, man. I did. Listen, it's football, man. It is football. He's, football he's, a, he's a big boy. Exactly. Um, football goes like it, man. You know what I mean? You win it some. It is what it is. I, I spoke to him after the game. And the first thing he turned around and said to me, he was like, listen. He took it well, man. He, what he said to He's me, a leader, isn't he? Look, what he said was very simple. He said, look, good luck in the final and everything. Um, I've got nothing but respect for you boys. And it's football, man. It's football, man. It's football. It's football. It is what it is. So Then it came down to the final. Right here at the box park we were. Packed out in here. We were all socially distancing. <laughs> <laughs> until the goals went in. Um, but... What a brilliant performance that was. Mate, for the first Chelsea 10 minutes. Chelsea in the final. First 10 minutes. Although you say that, I still think that before Chelsea even scored, we had the best chance of the game when Oba should have done better with his header. Yeah. From, from a great Ainsley. cross from Ainsley. Yeah. And then we went into a 10-minute spell where we've started slowly and we have done that a lot in games um, in recent weeks. And then after that, it's like someone flicked a switch. Boom. Chelsea didn't get near us. We dominated that whole game. And you've got to remember, we, we had the disappointment of Pepe scoring an absolute worldie and it being disallowed mm. to a minute later, bang, straight down the, the end again and doing what you mm. know, we've been doing. And what I liked about that game is that I'm finally seeing some of the things that I'm seeing in the training videos being implemented on the pitch. What have I always said to you, Robin? Mm. I watch these training videos and as far as I'm concerned, those training videos are pointless because you show all these pretty patterns, passing, moving, everything. Mm. But what do you do when you go out on the pitch? None of it. You don't do anything. But now, what I see in the training videos, I'm seeing on the pitch. T and E knew they play a high line, drop it over the top. And the best thing about having no fans in the stadium, because there is- Remember we never used to do that on the Emory. No, I know, but there is one good thing about not having fans in the stadium. So we get to watch the coverage of like the matches afterwards where you can hear everything that's going on and you could hear like the the assistance to Mikel saying over the top like an Oba had made the run and then when Oba was through you can hear someone from Chelsea's side saying help him <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sitting there creasing and the best one is the second goal when you've got Jorginho going right foot zoo zoo right foot right foot and then when Oba skips past him ah oh, zoo like, oh no, like, and it's, it's like, thank you, oh, thank cheers. you. So it's like every time, you know, you watch these highlights back, you see what goes on on the pitch. And this is what I think is the best thing to come out of having no mm. fans. And I genuinely think moving forward, at a minimum, I think referees should be mic'd up. You reckon? So you know like what they have in rugby, yeah, yeah. and you can you can. With the language of footballers. No, no, no. Because you got to remember, they're still showing this coverage at the moment. That's as dangerous as Mike and you lot. No, no, but and I know all about hey, that. I'll tell hey, you listen, that. you know what it is. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Wait. Mm. Um, mm. This is lovely. Yeah, this is this is amazing. This is all right. This is nice drink, isn't it? Yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> amazing. Amazing, but yeah, you, you but are. But refs, I'm serious, you need Yeah, refs. I think you should because, no, because what you do is you, you put out the highlights at the end of the game, oh, not live, so you can see it. But put out the highlights at the end, what like they're doing at the moment, and, and you can capture the best moments from a game and hear what the players are saying and doing mm. and things. I think it's really brought something to life for me as well. Mm. And like even my kids, they're watching it and they're seeing... More insight. Like real insight into what actually happens on the pitch. You can literally hear the players breathing. 
Mind it's you, you so in good. The, when you're at the game, you get insight, and your next to a couple of fans. Hey, he's crap. He's useless. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> get him off. Hey, he's he's rubbish. Off. Get him he's off. <laughs> useless. What the load of shit. And that's just for me and you. <laughs> <laughs> but after all that, three managers in one season. Um, Koscielny, right at the start of the season, refusing, the captain, refusing to go on tour. Crazy when you think Granit about it. Granit Xhaka storming off the pitch. Guendouzi getting out of the team. Ozil getting robbed and then not even featuring after the lockdown. Not even one minute. We managed to overcome all that and win an FA Cup. Amazing. We finished the season with a trophy. Chelsea didn't get a trophy. Tottenham didn't get a trophy. Right? You just make it sound like that's a surprise. They never get a trophy. Mikel Arteta's just football. done in 28 games what Tottenham haven't done in over a decade. Stop talking about all this stuff. Incredible. You know, we even know what Troops' his best mate's so, done. What, Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? What is it? Trophy Mourinho. <laughs> yeah, blood. Mikel Arteta's the one that's not going to win anything. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Oozing, yeah. <laughs> Lovely, jubbly. <laughs> ah, mate. I could so how do you rate the season? Rate the season? Shit. In the Premier League, it's been... Like, no, let's, just let's, overall. Overall, how do you rate it's it? It's poor. It's been poor. Like, let, let's not mask over it. What we did a few hundred odd yards away like a week ago is amazing. Don't get me mm. wrong. But that there should be the platform to build on going forward. That shouldn't be a benchmark. You know? We've been criticised of making comments about the FA Cup in the past and how I have troops as and some others and everything. What I'm trying to get into people's heads is that it's not that I don't want to win the FA Cup. I don't want to win just the FA Cup. I want to win the Premier League. I want to try and win the Champions League. You've got to compete League. for, the, got to compete for right? the big ones. The FA Cup should be the icing on the cake at the end of a, you know, like a double season and that kind of thing. It shouldn't be something to mask over what has been poor. And it's been poor. It's been dreadful. Mm. Let's, you know, mm. it, it has been. It's simple. Right. We finished Your, eighth. First yep. time in 25 years outside the top six. Mm. Player of the season. Aubameyang. Also player of the season. Aubameyang. It would have, it, if Leno hadn't have been injured, it would have been between them two. But given the fact that Leno got injured and then Oba went on to do what he did, two goals in the semi-final, two goals in the final, um, mm -hmm. Okay, young player of the season. Saka. I would say it would have been between... Over Martinelli? It would have been because Martinelli got injured. Mm. I think... Mm. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm. yeah, he hates it with us, man, because we give him so much crap. All right. But, it's, but no, if Martinelli would... It, again, it's the same thing. Young player, it was between those two, but Martinelli gets injured. And player of the year would have been between Oba and Leno, but then Leno gets injured. Oba's been exceptional. And I'll tell you something, if we get official confirmation that he signed on the dotted line, then, uh, mate, watch at the Tom, World Cup. At I'll the tell you something. video, we haven't got yeah. confirmation. Yeah, i tell you something. We're all hopeful what I will say done. is, I've already pre-recorded the video, so you better get ready, because I'm <laughs> slapping that in all your faces. And I know Troops will as well. Mine would be a bit different from Troops's. His would probably be 10 minutes of Obama who, Obama what? <laughs> Obama blood clot, yeah. My guy, my brother, and he'd be like that for 10 minutes. <laughs> That'd be it. So I'll try and give a bit of insight into why I'm happy, but we all will be happy mm. if he does sign on the dotted line. And it would be such a weight lifted on everybody at the club. And it also would be a big message to people we're trying to bring in. Mm. Like a Thomas party, et cetera, yeah. et cetera. On that, on, on that, we're going to get more into that on next week's podcast, right? Yeah. About signings, right? But I'm just going to quickly run through the squad. You just tell me quickly. Yep. In or out, in or out, in or out. All keep, right. or, or sell, keep, sell, keep. Yeah? Thought we was back in Singapore right. then. Leno? Um, <laughs> <laughs> he didn't clock that, did he? In or out, in or out, in or out. No, oh, thought we was back in Singapore. <laughs> <laughs> Leno. <laughs> <laughs> keep it so big. Right, Martinez. Um, yeah, cool. Keep, keep what? all day. Yeah, Bellerin. yeah. Bellerin. Oh. I'll keep him. Tierney. Keep. Socrates. Bye. Sell, you mean? Yeah, bye. 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 Oh, goodbye. Yeah, bye. Just say what sell. What did you think I said? Buy? buy sounds like you want to buy him. Just say sell. Hold him. Sell. 
Cedric's just come, so we've got um, Mustafi. So. Chambers. So. Mary, we just brought in. David Luiz. Keep. Kolasinac. So. Ozil. So. Torreira. So. Maitland Niles. Keep. Willock. Keep. Guendouzi. So. Xhaka. Keep. Saka obviously signed a new deal. Lacazette. I want to keep him. Abamian. Keep. <laughs> obviously. Pepe. Keep. Reese Nelson. Loan. Eddie and Ketia. Loan. Martinelli. Keep. Okay. All right. So that's um, interesting. Um, just before we go, I think Reese would do good a year away. Mm. I really do. Just before you go, we, we touched on um, the Abamian, but what do you make of the Ainsley one? Because it does look like Ainsley, they are looking to sell him. Well, it looks like it's against the wishes of Mikel Arteta as well. Yeah. And um, I'm a little bit disappointed because I think that Ainsley's... I don't know whether it's because since Mikel Arteta come in, because he obviously had a problem with Mikel Arteta at, at the beginning. Mm. But he's turned it round. But guy, he's turned it round. The guy trusted that we, him in, in the semi and the Everything final. that we had spoken about Ainsley and what we'd wished he'd do to wake up and realise who you play for and the opportunity you have. And it's like he needed that manager that would give him that kick mm. to get him to that. And like you said, he trusts him. Played him in the semi-final and the final. Mm. You know, and if we do end up getting rid of Hector, then I don't see why Ainsley can't be the new first choice right back. Mm. I honestly don't see why. He's got all the attributes to do it. He's got pace, he's got physicality, he's got defensive awareness, he's got attacking awareness. He needs to work on his crossing and stuff mm. like that. But overall, he's got the basis there. You know, I just wished he would have seized the opportunity when he had the, when he had the opportunity from the mm. beginning because then we might not be in this situation. But yeah, it depends whether, you know, Mikel mm. can get his way with this one as well. I'd be sad to see him go though, to be honest with you, yeah. because he's, you know, he's a, he's a young lad. And do you know what the ironic thing is? I remember a few years ago when I used to park underneath the Emirates with the players and there was one after a game where I took troops in there with me so that he could see some of the players and stuff. And Ainsley, do you remember? He came over to where we were and he was putting some stuff in his boot. And I remember he'd been on the bench and he was just kind of bit part and always on the bench, but never getting on, never doing anything. And he came over, said hello to my little boy and everything else, chatting to us and whatnot. And I remember Troops turned around to him and was like, Ainsley, keep your head up, man. You'll get your opportunity, keep going. And his look was kind of like, like down as if to say like, I'm never gonna get my opportunity sort of thing. And it's like, and he has got his opportunity and I hope it isn't, the end for him to do it. Mm. I just wish that he would have done it a little bit sooner and said, yeah, I need to do Because he mm. could have cemented that right, right back position down with Hector being out for a year. Mm. But he hasn't. And it's one of those, man. OK, well, that is our review of the season. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it's brought back, um, well, <laughs> and it ended with some good memories. Uh, you know what? It, it's been... When you see how we've broken it down and the ups and the downs and that, you realise what an achievement it was for Mikel Arteta after all that, coming in, steadying the ship mm. and actually winning a trophy. I think he personally has had a good season and um, I'm very hopeful that he can do good things at Arsenal if the board back him. That's very important this summer. Yeah. We know that the real big money is not available to him. But they've got to get the signings right. They've got to back him. They've got to be able to bring in the type of players that are going to suit what he, how he wants to play. But I'm fully confident that if they do, we've got ourselves a great manager. Thanks for watching the show. Don't forget, um, the link is in the description for the 888 uh, sport video. Who's going to get into the top four next season? Um, make sure you get in there and let them know. Put Arsenal in there. But <laughs> right, right, jump into uh, the description. DT, thanks. Always a pleasure. It's, it's been a traumatic season. Let's hope. <laughs> it's been a traumatic 60 right, minutes. We're, we're, we're going to be we're, we're going to be doing the podcast <laughs> right throughout. Um, well, I say the summer. The summer's nearly over. Right? We got three weeks till our next game. <laughs> yeah, we're going to well, be back here yeah, yeah, for yeah, Liverpool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the we'll 29th, be, isn't it? Yeah, it's crazy, man. We've got the community shield. Oh my shield. god! But um, listen, you don't mind though, man, because you enjoy my company, man. Oh gosh. <laughs> 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 Available at all formats. The podcast. Download it now and thanks for watching.
Robbie here from AFTV. We just got to say a big thank you to everybody who follows us across our various channels, over a million followers on YouTube. Don't forget, you can now also catch us on Reddit. We're on Reddit, so get involved with us on Reddit and also on TikTok. Keep it AFTV, baby, right here.